Hi, it's Dr. Alex Popovich and welcome to my channel. This is my productivity tip number three. Why is task batching so important in productivity? Batching is actually just a dedicating a block of time to similar tasks. And this is done so you don't lose your concentrations on performing multiple other tasks, but also to decrease distractions. And in this way, you will increase your productivity and waste less time. Every time someone distracts you, it takes you, believe it or not, 10 to 15 minutes of time to go back to focus mode. And that's a huge amount if you uh, get distracted a lot. The best example for me is if I'm operating, I hate when my phone rings all the time because I get distracted. Uh, I cannot give my entire focus to the patient in front of me. And this is why I often turn off the phone to phone calls. Sometimes as doctors we can't, but it's best then to have someone to screen your phone calls. But it, that still irritates me because I know it's my phone that's ringing and it just kind of breaks my concentration. So I have come to this task batching and I found it a few years ago. And since I started using it, it's increased my productivity significantly. Or should I say, I have more time to do other things that I want to do, like resting. So for me, batching starts from batching the days to batching the task within a day. So for example, for me, I on Mondays do my university work. This is when I lecture, when I prepare my lectures, when I do some of the research. Tuesday is for YouTube videos or other content like blogs that I do. Wednesday, Thursday and Fridays is uh, my surgeon work. This is when I operate and I see my patients. But then I go step even further. So then within the same day, I batch tasks according to where I am and what I need to do for that um, particular kind of theme of my batching. So for example, um, I'm in this, let's say Wakefield Hospital one day. So I will do all my tasks that are related to being at the Wakefield Hospital. I will sort out the tasks that come from emails from patients or from staff from Wakefield. I will see all of the Wakefield patients. I will update my notes. I will send um, the person who does my dictations, my letters to uh, type them. Uh, I will plan my operating lists. This is where, for example, I might have a neoadjuvant patients which means they're going to have a chemo to start with and then they will need a surgery. Uh, who knows, sometimes four months, sometimes six months from when I first saw them or maybe even longer. And so when I see them halfway through their chemo, I double check when is the end date, see that I have an operating list at that time, book the operating list uh, around that time that I need to and then uh, plan it so um, I can plan all of my tasks months in advance. Um, next day I might be in a different hospital so I will do all the tasks related to that hospital. So here I will be talking to you about batching uh, my tasks for Thursday. I do this on a whiteboard or on my computer but I thought it's easier to show you this on a whiteboard. This will be batching for Thursday. So mostly in hospital, in Bolcott, in Lower Hutt. So um, I, my clinic starts at 9 o'clock. So 09 to 12 o'clock morning clinic. Now I will come there early. So 08, 30 to 9. I'll do my emails. related to Bolcott patient. 
So which means I have to be there So from 1215 to 1300 as lunch during this time I update my upcoming operating theater lists and planned lists. So 13, 16, 30 is my afternoon clinic. During 16.30 to 17.15 approximately, I will do follow-up tasks. So, send typing to typist. I will uh, update outstanding. Volcott patient files and I I either task these separately or as a big chunk what I need to do and then I'm going home so I will be at home by 1800 I'm at home And when I get home, I don't work. And so next week, I do the same on Thursdays. So normally, these will be my calendar templates for the Thursdays. Um, I think um, this is even more important when you do errand work. So for me, the errands are kind of like going to the dentist or having a haircut or uh, going to see a doctor or certain type of shopping that you don't tend to do kind of on your weekends. And uh, I will book one or two afternoons in a month where I do these things. And this is because I'm already driving. I'm not having to kind of stop what I'm doing and then go to these uh, to a meeting and then come back, start doing something and then go and do it again. I do it all at the same time. So I'm always in a car only once and all these things are in my calendar so I don't forget what I need to do. And it's booked for the time that may, it may take me. So my tips for batching are decide what you can batch. I batch, as I said, quite a lot of things, especially emails. I process them only once a day. I take uh, around 45 minutes. If everything takes me longer to do than five minutes to answer an email, I put that in a calendar on a day that's uh, a kind of uh, batched for that. Uh, I have tried doing like a social media batching or content uh, batching where I edit three or four videos in a row. I found out that I can't do that. So these days what I tend to do is I go from the beginning till the end on one video. Because switching from one video to another, I found this is wasted for me. But you might be different. You might need twice a day to check your emails and for less time. Or you might be a person who does all the taping of the videos in one go or all the editing in the videos in one go. It depends what suits your personality better, what keeps your concentration uh, better and what takes you less time to do a specific task or set of tasks. The other thing is that you need to decide how often you need to batch certain tasks and how long they will last. And then you have to put them in your calendar and block that time to do this batch of the, these tasks.
one of the most important things is that you time yourself doing these tasks. Are these tasks taking me less or more time to do? If you book more time than you need, for example, an hour, but you only need 45 minutes, you will actually waste these 15 minutes doing um, the, the emails. It's called Parkinson's law. Your time stretches because you have, uh, uh, you have certain provisions of time. And always evaluate these things that you're trying to do. Is it working for me or if it's not? Because if it's not working and if you're actually wasting more time, what's the point? You might as well not be doing it. So these are my tips on batching and why I think batching is a great for your productivity. So try it. I think you'll find out that there are certain tasks that you can batch and that you will be more productive doing it. Thank you very much for watching this video and bye for now.